Archaeologists are adamant that the layout of Gobekli Tepe was the creation of a much more advanced group of earthlings than what was previously assumed to have been the work of Neolithic hunter-gatherers. The thinking behind these advancements are beginning to change our understanding, evolves into a much broader consideration of what was taking place on our planet in the very distant past. The discovery of Gobekli Tepe was a game changer. For the first time, we are looking at a timeline of 12,500 years that dates to the Younger Dryad's impact. When this place was found, it was buried. Deliberately, they tell us, but it was covered by the impact of the projectile comet throwing dirt and debris into the atmosphere before resettling and covering sites like this. An abrupt end did occur in society 12,500 years ago. The survivors re-emerged in Egypt, but the mystery of their advancements and the knowledge they possessed is locked in these very ancient wonders from a time before long ago that we almost completely forgotten about. Almost. What Gobekli Tepe has achieved, if nothing else thus far, is to tear down the preconceptions that once stood as a matter of fact, and anyone who challenged these fairy tale beliefs were ridiculed in society. It made it a hard task to change minds that are set in stone that they believed without question what it was. How exactly did Neolithic hunter-gatherers build such a structure, you have to wonder. These are the same hunter-gatherers who are wearing animal furs for warmth at a time when we shed our fur for reasons that are not understood. How could a nomadic society erect these great pillars right at the beginning of time? Wasn't there some sort of progressive understanding? Were there not many more structures in other parts of Turkey just like this that are just waiting to be rediscovered from the great submergence of the very ancient world. A forgotten world, but one we are beginning to rediscover much to our sheer astonishment in modern times. Surveys have shown there are at least 15 more scattered around the hill yet to be explored at this site, as well as half a dozen other similar unexplored sites across southeastern Turkey. The true scale of these monuments their meanings and purpose are currently not known. If we are to believe that hunter-gatherers built these things, then we also know that it is impossible. And that leaves the door wide open for us to allow the suggestion of an advanced, highly advanced society that disappeared under these circumstances of the impact's projectiles, later emerging as a survivor group before arriving in Egypt and archaeologists serving the Israeli project at Gobekli Tepe have just announced stunning finds that tell us a primitive people did not build these things. And in fact, we have been way off course for millennia in our understanding of the past and what it may mean to know or even acknowledge the truth. The Israeli archaeologists say in their study of the three oldest stone enclosures at Gobekli Tepe, and they have revealed publicly for the first time that there are in fact hidden geometric patterns. And one that has created a bit of a sensation, more specifically is known as the equilateral triangle, underlying the entire architectural plan of these structures. Gil Hackley of Tel Aviv University said in a recent interview that this implies in contrast to the prevailing assumption among Gobekli Tepe researchers until now, these three circles were planned as a single unit and possibly built at the same time. What this suggests is a critical change in modern thinking towards the historic past, and that thousands and thousands of years, not hundreds, but thousands and thousands of years before the invention of writing or the idea of the wheel, the builders of Gobekli Tepe eventually had some understanding of geometric principles and could apply them to their construction plans. The initial discovery of the site was a big surprise, and we are now showing that its construction was even more complex than we had ever considered to be possible, a very sobering thought. The first phase of construction at Gobekli Tepe, or Pot-Bellied Hill as the Turks say, has been dated to between 12,500 and 11,000 years ago. 
This is the earliest part of the Neolithic, also known as pre-pottery Neolithic A, around the time people in the northern Levant began domesticating plants and animals, launching the agricultural revolution. However, at this site, it suggests a much more advanced group of earthlings were at work on a project that is now the subject of much debate and one of the biggest mysteries ever uncovered and the oldest known site in the world. Is this all making sense? These are just some of the reasons why the Lost History Channel keeps bringing these things to the attention of our subscribers. Based on the assumption that such a massive construction project would have been beyond the capacities of the small, non-sedentary groups that usually comprise hunter-gatherer societies, most scholars have assumed that all the circles at Gobekli Tepe had to have been built gradually over a long period of time. Gil Hackley said in a recent online statement on the matter that there is a lot of speculation that the structures were built successfully, possibly by different groups of people, and that one was covered up while the next one was being built, but there is no evidence that they are not contemporaneous. Hackley, who formerly worked as an architect, applied a method called architectural formal analysis, which is used to trace the planning principles and methods used in the design of existing structures. Using an algorithm, he identified the center points of the three irregular stone circles. Not surprisingly, those points fell roughly midway between the pair of central pillars in each enclosure. What was surprising, however, was that those three points could be linked to form a nearly perfect equilateral triangle. Specifically, the vertices are about 25 centimeters away from forming a perfect triangle with sides measuring 19.25 meters each. The researcher recalls that, I certainly did not expect this. The enclosures all have different sizes and shapes, so the odds that these center points would form an equilateral triangle by chance are very low. The finding confirms previous research by these researchers at other sites showing that architects in the Neolithic or even in the late Paleolithic didn't build shelters and homes haphazardly but had the ability to apply rudimentary geometric principles and create standard units of measurement. At Gobekli Tepe, the discovery of the pattern is evidence of a complex abstract design that could not be realized without first creating a scale floor plan. Each enclosure subsequently went through a long construction history with multiple modifications, but at least in an initial phase, they started as a single project. The archaeologist concludes, the implication is that a single project at Gobekli Tepe was three times larger than previously thought and required three times as much manpower, a level that is unprecedented in hunter-gatherer societies. So there you have it, pretty stunning finds yet again being confirmed at Gobekli Tepe, but what do you guys think about this anyway? Comments below, and as always, thank you for watching.